yeah, if you think you're gonna do it in your own strength, then you know what, yeah, you can do it. COVID, it's been helping people move their businesses from offline or brick and mortar to online. Systems yeah. are more important than skills as an entrepreneur today. It's yes. totally okay to reinvent yourself yes. multiple times, especially when you're an entrepreneur. Welcome to Profitable Coaching Conversations with Wendy Y. Bailey. If you're a coach, speaker, or industry expert, you're in the right place for sales and marketing wisdom and insight to grow your coaching business. Now, here's your host, Income Acceleration Mentor, Wendy Y. Bailey. Hi, and welcome to this bonus episode of Profitable Coaching Conversations. Wendy Y. here, and recently I was supporting a client. I was coaching her in preparation for a meeting she had coming up. The meeting was with an organization she's worked with before, and the opportunity to work with them again was challenging, but it would offer an entree to working with an even larger organization as part of this meeting that she was going to be, you know, was invited to. So what we talked about was making sure that she showed up as her best self in the meeting. But before we got to that point, what we talked about was something that as a project manager, former project manager, is like a, a, a buzzword for us. It's crucial. It is our favorite thing, and that is scope. When you're working with someone as a consultant, scope is everything. You need to know what's in scope. You need to know what's out of scope. And you need to know what's in scope and whatever is out of scope, you need to know how out of scope activities will be handled. Okay, the clearer you are about your scope, the easier it is to identify and express what it's going to take for them to employ you or engage you in some way in the out of scope activity. You can say, oh, this is out of scope and I'll do it. And this is what it's going to take. It could be financial. It could be in-kind services. It could be, you know, a recommendation. Depending on the organization, you get to decide what those out of scope things will require from you and what they will require from the organization that wants to engage you. So scope is everything. Then in terms of showing up at the table, because it's a Zoom call, that means your facial expressions need to be poker. You don't need to let anybody know what's really going on in your head because um, you may have some challenges with what's being said. You've got to be able to listen hear what's said, and then respond to it in a way that you come across in cooperation, as competent, and the way you do that is by being very clear. Make sure that you communi communicate clearly what it is you want to say with every bullet point, with every part of your discussion, with every response that you have. Respond, don't react. Respond means if you need to take a breath, you take a deep breath, and then you express your point. Because you, in that breath, you took some time to think about what would make the appropriate response and how you could express it in a way that exudes confidence. You've also got to be eloquent, okay? That means you've got to be able to say things that are hard, that are tough to express, but in kindness, in compassion, with sensitivity, with competence, with confidence. All of that really, really comes across when you're in a meeting. Even if it's on Zoom, you've got to come across and be clear. So these are the things we boiled it down to. You've got to have clarity. You've got to have competence. That gives you confidence. And then your eloquence will shine through as well. I believe in really powerful sales conversations and stepping to a consulting table to talk about what you can do as a consultant. That's a sales conversation. No matter what the conversation, you've got to show up ready on the spot to move the conversation forward to both your benefit, not just for that one organization, but a larger organization as well. The more you do it, the better you get at it. And I want you to know that it does get easier over time the more you do it. So thanks for watching this bonus episode of Profitable Coaching Conversations. Be sure to join the Profitable Coaching Society at www.profitablecoachingsociety.com. I'll see you next time for another bonus episode. Bye-bye.
Thanks so much for tuning in to Profitable Coaching Conversations with Wendy Y. Bailey. Be sure to join us at the after party at www.profitablecoachingsociety.com. We'll see you next time for more sales and marketing wisdom and insight from Wendy Y. and her amazing guests. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you know when new episodes are posted. Thank you.